subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So today's video is a little bit different. I thought I would show you some of my makeup drawers, especially my eyeshadow palettes that I have stacked in these drawers over here. Um, I thought it would just be something fun and something a little bit different just to show you all my palettes that I have, which palettes I love, which palettes I use quite a bit and so on. So starting with, okay, let's first actually start with the vanity drawers that I have. So these vanity drawers I got from a place called Vanity Line. They are based in Cape Town. Um, I have ordered actually another one, another set like this, which is two, four, six, eight, nine drawers. Really nice, so pretty to put in um, any palettes, foundations, um, anything that you want to really. This one over here is also from Vanity Line, which is more like, um, let me show you here. This is just more, just like extra things that I have, extra stash. And this is like where I keep all like my um, eyelashes, my glue and so forth. So going back to these lash, oh, going back to these drawers. In the first drawer, I have all my palettes, little palettes, um, things like that that I use. So over here, I've got my Huda Beauty um, little palettes, the Emerald Obsessions, the um, Electric Obsessions, all those little um, palettes that Huda came out with a few years ago. So that's all stacked here. I've got like my Elf little palette, my Dose of Colors, um, Blending Berries and Sassy Sienna's um, palette, which is so, so, so pretty, which I've also had for a while. Um, and then obviously I have a little bit of NYX stuff. So NYX came out with these um, different elements, um, fire, earth, water, and what's the name? Metal. Um, so I've got those stacked over there. I've got also my Milani um, palettes on this side. Also some more NYX palettes. And then I've got my LA Girl um, Get Feverish palette, which is super pretty. This you can buy at Diskim. They have a few different ones as well, which is really nice. Um, and then this is a new one that I purchased on Take A Lot the other day. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, this is hard doing this with one hand. Um, this is from Zara Cosmetics. So it looks like this. So pretty. So this is like more your oranges and your yellows. Um, and then we have two press glitters in there, which is really nice. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, here again, I have some more NYX, the grind palette. Um, this I bought overseas when I was in the UK from a place called Obsession. And then another Zara palette, which you have seen me do looks for that palette. And then of course I have my um, KKW palette. So this is the KKW um, eyeshadow palette. This is more the um, a neutral palette so it looks like that and then I have my KKW with Mario collaboration palette that she came out with that is the one with a pop of blue in the palette also super pretty um, I've got some nice shoes oh, sorry <laughs> I've got some nice shoes out of these two palettes then of course we've got the big daddy which is the black sugar palette by Jeffree Star so 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 nice I've also got um, the Joye uh, Tan Lines palette, um, and then I've got more Jeffree Star, which is the Androgyny palette. This is actually quite an old palette um, that I've had. And then Ace Beauty, the Blossom Obsession palette. This is so pretty. This is from Muse Beauty. Um, they have got a few of them, um, which is so pretty. Look, you can see it's like all the pinks. Um, berry tones, so really, really nice. And then I've also got um, my Ingolot. This is actually so old. Um, this is when you could still like make your own little palettes and all of that. I don't know if they still do that or not. So I've got that. And then I've got my little Marc Jacobs um, palette as well. And then in this little container over here, it's just like little bits and bits and bobs. So I've got like my Essence um, Sprinkle Chrome eyeshadows. I've got a few of them. Um, I've got some um, liquid, these are so pretty, this is from Cover FX, liquid uh, shadows, um, I've got some MAC, this was on the Christmas collection, the MAC stars to the, uh, stairs to the stars, a little bit of dose of colour, so in this it's just like a little bit of bits and bobs. 
Okay, then going on to the second drawer. So everything is kind of packed um, according to how the brands are. So like the first brand, the first drawer was just like brands, um, like random brands. And now my second drawer, I've got like my color pop together, my Urban Decay together. Um, I've got uh, more color pop, my Nars, and then all my makeup revolution goodies. So starting over here. Um, I've got the Roxy Revolution, the Soap Revolution, uh, another Soap Revolution, um, Revolution, um, more Revolution. So <laughs> that's all my Revolution palettes. Um, Urban Decay, we have the Naked Reloaded palette, which also came out, I think, last year sometime, which is more like your um, neutral, a uh, little bit darker colors, which is super pretty. Uh, oh, I love, love, love this palette, the Born to Run palette from urban decay super pretty look at all those colors so 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 nice um also we've got some and this is also recently um i purchased this from take a lot this is the nars um let me just read you the nars skin deep palette so it looks like this so pretty um also neutral colors uh this can go from daytime to nighttime there's some as you can see there's some um metallics in there some shimmers super pretty nice large mirror and then i also love my bare necessities um palette so nice nice and big palette and the so jaded um palette which i used the other day in a look and i also spoke about this on my instagram with the uh, kathleen lights and then this is a color pop um palette that i created myself that you can add um, your own shades and your own colors in and all that so this is what i created with just two highlights um in the palette as well so super super nice okay then on this side we have all my color pop palettes so we have just my luck we have the more and soul palettes down here and then we have lots of little color pop palettes let me show you Lots of little um, ColourPop palettes that I've just collected over the years. The Dream Street, um, the She palette. Um, this was also a super pretty Femme Rosa palette. So, so, so nice. Really pretty palette. And then these two I've also recently purchased from Take A Lot. The Blush Crush and the Nude Mood palette. And then these two palettes over here I've had forever and a day. So this was still with um, Karen, the um, I Love Sarahi um cheeky color pop palette and also the saucy palette um let me open them up for you they still look like this so this i think was still the old packaging at some stage so also really really nice little palettes that um it's just easy to to use you know let's open this one up and that one looks like that this is really nice this this color is super pretty the shiny Blink color, which I love. Okay, and now in the third drawer, this is now my Morphe drawer. So everything in this drawer is everything that I've collected from Morphe. So we have, let's go start over here. So this is the James Charles um, big palette, which everyone knows. So this is the James Charles palette. Then I have the Dare to Create palette, which is also the 39A um, palette, super big. I love these big palettes. Also, so 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 nice. Got some nice wear out of out of this palette. Some usage. Then I've got the um, 24G Grand Glam palette, which is also such a nice um, palette. Also nice big pans in this palette with small your pinks and your oranges. And then this is oh. The Morphe, let me just check this, is the Morphe 39S palette. So this is the purple pinky palette, which looks like this. Also, got some nice wear from that. Okay, and then on this side, we have the Jaclyn Hill, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palettes, the vault that she came out with. So it's just these little palettes on that side. Um, and then also we have here the Morphe, this is the 18B palette. So this looks a little, little bit like this. So this has got greens, orange, oh, greens, yellows. Um, there's a pop of um, a shimmer, which I love. Very nice little palette this. Um, this is the Morphe 15D palette. These are so nice and sturdy. 
um, also a nice big mirror. This is like your orangey brown type of colors. So, so, so pretty. Morphe really has some nice palettes that they came out with. This is the Morphe 15H palette, which looks like this. Also beautiful shimmers. Um, the pans are also actually really nice and big for these palettes. Then we have the Morphe. This is still old packaging. Um, these two that came together, the 25B and the 20, 25B and 25A um, palettes, which look like this, which I think I'm actually going to put in my professional kit. And then this is the Morphe 25C palette, which is so pretty. These are like your pinks and your browns and a pop of colors here and there, which is really nice for these palettes. Moving on, we have the new Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette that she brought out with Morphe. So everyone knows what this must look like by now. So this is like your pinks, your oranges, your purples. Um, super nice packaging, much better than the first one. Here's the first one that she had, the Jaclyn Hill palette. But um, as you can see, it really gets dirty, this cardboard type of packaging. Um, so this is the first one that she brought out. Um, also really nice, formulas are really nice in this palette. Um, I think it did very well. Um, so that is that. And then we have the 35G Bronze Gold, which obviously the name says what it is. This is all your bronzy shades, um, your metallics, your glitters. Um, really nice palette. I've, ta I've actually done quite a few looks with this palette as well. Then this is still the old packaging that Morphe had, so you know, you can think how old these palettes are. This is the Morphe 350M palette. I think this is the one that has the red. So this has got the uh, reds and the oranges and the yellows. Um, also, I think I might be putting this into my um, my kit. And then this is the Morphe 3502, which is one of my favorite palettes. This has got all the nice reds and uh, browns. And yeah, super, super nice. Now going on to my fourth drawer. Oh, which is this one, yes. <laughs> so this is my fourth drawer. Um, so this is also a little bit of everything. So this is all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that I have. So I have the Soft Glam. I have the Carly Bible um, palette. I have the Modern Renaissance. And then I have the Anastasia um, Prism palette, which is this one. So the, ah, there we go. Which looks like that. So this is all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes together. They're all so nice. They've all got that velvet feel to it, except for the Carly Barber one. Then I've got my Too Faced palette, which is the Just Peachy Matte palette. And the, oh, sorry, just the Too Faced one. Then I have my um, Tartlet uh, from Tarte um, palette, Toasted palette. Then I have my Natasha Denona um, Sunrise palette. And then I have all my Huda Beauty palettes. So I have the a Mercury Retrograde palette, I have the um, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, and then we have the Nude, the Nude um, palette, which is super pretty. Here's also another Tarte, um, Tarte palette, so this was also one of my first ones that I got, um, which is just basically a lot of like nudes, browns, I even use this um, for contouring, which is really nice, so that is that one. Then we are moving on to the Revolution Patricia, Patricia Bright palette. This is also a recently um, purchased palette, which looks like this. Super big. Let me just show you actually how big it is. So, so, so big. And also a nice big mirror. Um, nice palette. Um, this you can get at clicks. Um, so that is that. Then we have the two, I have my Carnival X Pro palette with Be Perfect. So it's that one, which is the new, new, new one. And then I have also the, ah, let me just show you guys before we get to those. And then I also have the first one that you brought, the Carnival palette, um, the first one. So you can see the difference between these two is quite, quite big. Let me just move this to the side. So here is the first one and then here's the second one. So the first one, sorry, the first one um, is a little bit thicker, like thicker cardboard and all that. So, and a lot less shades than the second one. And the second one is a little bit slimmer. It's got a lot more shades in it. 
as you can see the comparison but also both really really nice palettes um, and then obviously I had to get the Tarte Beauty um, volume one palette which is just a stunning palette let me open it up for you also such a nice big mirror that you get and just the shades are so beautiful look at all those shades and those metallics and shimmers and sequins and mattes oh it's just a beautiful beautiful palette that she has then i also have the jawbreaker jeffree star jawbreaker palette which i've done a few looks on i haven't really done too much with this palette um i think i need to play around a little bit more with this um it's a little bit out of my comfort zone these colors but i think it is a really really nice palette so i need to play a little bit more with this palette and then we have the um, Manny MUA Life's Drag Palette, which looks like this from Luna Beauty. And then I have one of my favorite palettes, obviously, because I do love NYX the brand. It's the NYX Swear By Palette, which looks like this. Um, this I actually bought in Cape Town. Um, I think they do have it in the Santon store now. Um, really nice. Lots of colors, as you can see. And then I have another Revolution um, Palette. This is the Pro HD Palette. Uh, this is in Innovation. So that one looks like that. Then moving on to these ones over here. This is the Desi and KT palette, which looks like this. Also so pretty. I need to play around a little bit more with this palette as well. I haven't used the those um, blues or greens or anything. So I um, still need to play a little bit more around with this, but very pretty palette. Love the packaging as well. It's like this nice sequency, nice touch to it. I don't know. It's like a nice... I don't know. It feels like a, you can wear it like in a, on a dress. It's so pretty. And then this I've had forever and a day. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach um, palette. It actually still smells nice, what I could remember of it. Um, so it looks like this. It actually, it's actually a very nice palette. Um, let me just actually smell it. Oh, yeah. It still smells like sweet peaches and stuff. So a really nice little palette. Um, and then over here we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, which looks like this. So this is all just like metallics in this palette. And one, one matte, yes, Rolling in Dough, the white down at the bottom, this color, is the only matte shade in here. So also really nice um, for those matte looks, or for those shimmer looks you want to create. And then we have another Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette, which looks like that also is super pretty i need to use this palette a little bit more as well okay now moving on to my fifth drawer which is this one over here so this is a little bit less of a drawer it's still got palettes in it but it's not so overwhelming um i've got my juvia's place um palette over here so this is the N N nubian i hope i'm saying that right especially for beginners um that want to start with makeup these palettes blend out so nicely these colors so um, also another neutral little palette over there then we have this one the Zulu just a little bit more colors you've got your pop of greens blues yellows um, and then you've got your brown on on this corner over here then we have also got um, the Nubian 2 um, by Juvia or pans um, more metallics very nice just to like add a little bit of pop of color to your look and then we have I purchased this um, Sephora Pro um, palette when I was overseas. This is the Sephora Pro um, Pro Pigment palette in warm. So this one looks, there we go. So this looks like this. Also just super, um, a lot of neutral shades, um, a lot of your browns. There is a pop of yellow in there. Nice big mirror as you can see. Um, actually a very very nice palette i know they had a few of these out in different colors but i just grabbed this one then um i've got the identity palette and the origin palette from um beauty bay so this is a uk based um brand that came out with their own like their own brand basically um so we have the identity um palette which as you can see is massive I think there's like 42 colors or something in here and a nice big mirror to go with it so i've grabbed this one that has got a bit more color and then the origin is a little bit more nudie everyday type of colors which you can see looks like that 
So both are really, really nice. They're all massive palettes, um, but super pretty, super nice to use. Then I have got um, a Kylie palette. This is in the, this is the burgundy palette. So these are one of the first palettes that she brought out, which looks like this. You can see she has come a long way with her palettes and her collections and stuff. And then um, the I Want It All palette, which is a little bit more, um, I think this was her Valentine's collection or something like this, which we have a blush, we have a highlighter, and then we have the eyeshadow shades. Um, cute packaging though. I'm a sucker for good packaging. <laughs> and then on this side over here, we have two palettes. Oh, this is another one, sorry. This is another one from Kylie. This is the Sipping Pretty um, palette, which I have, I love this palette, which looks like this. So you've got like your news, you've got your um, pop of pinks, a little bit of a purple, pop of blue. Um, this shades in this palette really blend out so, so, so pretty. So really nice um, palette that she brought out there. And then we have the It's My Ray Ray by BH Cosmetics. Also a nice um, little palette, so cute. Looks like this, as you can see, a little bit more colorful palette. There's some purples, there's some blues, greens, got a yellow. Um, so really, also, just if you want to like add a pop of color to your eye, super cute palette. And now some of my favorite palettes, let me take this actually completely out. So these are my um, Moon Slice Beauty palettes. So these actually came together as a set of four. So the first one is the Moon Magic palette. I think, I'm sure you guys have seen me talk about these palettes. So this is the purple um, palette. I have done a look on this palette. Um, so these are your purple shades. Then the next one is the Emerald the emerald moon palette these are your greens your yellows these shades are just so 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 beautiful um the next one is the moon shake palette which is ah let me open it up which is beautiful so this is like your everyday um nude palette that you can use going from night to day this is literally like i would pop this in my handbag and touch up wherever i need to touch up and they're small enough to actually um, put it into your handbag and then the last one is the new moon palette very pretty palette look those let me just swatch like this for you look at that just so 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 pretty sorry my hands are dirty from touching all these palettes um so yeah super pretty palettes they all like i say said they all um came in this four as a little package so really pretty love it so guys that is the end of my palettes and um the end of what i've showed you i hope you enjoyed this video just to show you a little bit of what i have in my stash what i've been collecting throughout the years things like that so i hope you really enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye